Hello, welcome to One Moment Wiser. This is Christy Bridges and it's Trade In Tuesday. So tonight we are trading speculation for truth. Let's talk about 2 Timothy 2, 15 through 16. It says, do your best to present God, to present yourself, <laughs> do your best to present yourself to God as one approved a worker who doesn't need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Avoid godless chatter because those who indulge in it will become more and more ungodly. Now, when I was a little kid, I had to write that verse like 30 times, at least twice in fourth grade because I could not stop talking in class. I bet that's a surprise to you that I talk a lot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but I couldn't. I just was constantly yapping. And so my teacher had me stay after class and write this verse over and over again. Now, as a kid, I didn't completely understand. As an adult, I grow more and more in understanding every year. And it seems like by now I know some stuff. But even today, I was learning about myself and about the fact that the things that uh, some things that I think of as natural and normal and right are just my personality. And some things that I do come across to other people as unusual, either good or bad. So, you know, we're constantly learning if we will allow ourselves to be. If we will allow ourselves to be open to the truth that we don't have all the answers. We, as we break down this verse and really examine it, we do our best to present ourselves to God as one approved. Now, God already approved of us. We're his kids. Just like when you have a newborn baby and you go, oh my gosh, this is the most perfect thing in the entire universe, right? Well, God does that with us. So we, when I was a kid, I thought, oh, she's telling me I need to work harder. Um, but God approves of us. He adores us. However, we are supposed to do our best to present ourselves as the person he sees us to be right? The person he created us to be that we were born to blossom into. And to do that, we have to correctly handle the word of truth. We have to know. We don't know it all. We have to be curious about where other people are coming from, about what God really wants, about what God really thinks, and about how this world actually operates. I did a series a few years ago about our automatic, you know, our, our brain defaults called heuristics, where we assume a lot of times that other people are exactly like us. And when they're not, we're totally surprised. Um, or we assume that the way things happen in the past are the way they're going to happen in the future, even though we were less mature and had less understanding in the past and could actually have different results in the future if we try something good again. But, you know, little assumptions that we make sometimes inhibit our ability to rightly handle the word of truth. So let's pray tonight together. Lord, thank you. Thank you for continuously teaching us. Thank you that we are eternal and we, we get to know you as we go on. Lord, help us to stay open to you. Help us to, to seek what you have to say and, and really listen. Help us to come to you with questions, Lord, when we don't agree. Help us to give you the benefit of the doubt and allow you to show us your presence and your wisdom, whether you answer our questions or not. Lord, help us to see what you see in those around us and see how they're perceiving us and be the people that you've made us to be. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Bye.